live in two different places, two different countries, two different continents, two different coasts. It's the same continent, really. Um, but uh, I'm here. Uh, first of all, introduce yourself. Uh, you know, I go by the Magnificent. Or the Batmobile. I don't know what it is, but um, it's a Uh, so uh, first of all, you and Hobson, uh, explain, you know, you, you've been popping up in like Hobson videos, uh, two of them from, from what I can count as kind of like cameo appearances. Um, how did, how did that relationship form between you and Hobson? Um, it's crazy because it's a long story. So, um, um, you know, Deshaun Jackson is super high fire, right? Mm, so, um, right. you know, remember when super high fire battled Hobson and, um, you know, I, I was there at the video shoot. <laughs> And that was my first time meeting Hop, you know what I mean? And at the time, Hop didn't even know who I was, you know what I mean? So we introduced each other, we shook hands, whatever. So, you know, I followed him on the ground. And uh, after he followed back, you know, I guess that's when he got into the world of daylight. And it was just like, right. oh, sh this motherfucker is like wild, like just as wild as I am. And, you know, like, I feel like Hop, Hop also had, Hop, Hop also is the type of person that like, like everybody looks at him as a weirdo, you know what I mean? So like that's when he related to me. It was like, oh, he's like in my boat. You know what I mean? He doesn't give a fuck what nobody thinks. He says whatever he wants. He doesn't he doesn't ride people dicks. He just he says whatever he wants. So we became cool, you know what I mean? And um, you know, uh one day, you know, we chopped it up and I was like, yo, we should work on something big, you know what I mean? And um, like I said, before I met Hobson that day too, I always thought the same thing of him. Like, yo, this guy wears white eyes, he's a fucking weirdo, you know, and that's what most people think. He wears white contacts. Like, who wears white contacts? So, you know, I never, I never got into his world until after I met him. After I met him, you know, um, we linked up. Um, it was like, yo, let's work on some music. So he came, we worked on some music, and then um, we ended up not even putting a song out, but we did the song. And then um, after, the, after the studio session was over, like, we were talking outside, you know what I mean? He asked me, like, yo, why, like, why'd you get the face tat? You know what I mean? I gave him the full story, like the real story, not the troll story. I gave him the full story. And before we know it, I asked him, why did you retire? And he told me why he retired, you know, and he was just on a search for himself and searching for his, who, what was his purpose in his world? And it just so happens we had the same purpose, and it was to do something big. something To like, save the giraffes. Some, and we never thought it was going to be to save giraffes. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, like, I'll tell you how the giraffe thing came up. So, you know, um, we just, we, we came up with something called the Combine. Me and Hobson came up with something called the Combine. And it was something that we was just going to work on as far as, like, helping each other out to do something bigger. So, you know, um, you know I keep it a buck. Like, when, when, you know, when the whole funk volume stuff split up, you know, I had made a joke post. Like, yo, me and Hobson about to go save some giraffes. It was a joke. It was, like, all a joke. The blog I did about, like, you know, funk volume splitting up was a joke. It was all a joke. It was, you know, my trolling. It's all a joke. Right. And, you know, it just so happens, my man, my man, Mr. To The P, you know, um, I told him, I'm like, yo, I'm about, to, I'm about to, you know, we about to make a song called Save The Giraffe. So we made the song, but it was a joke. Like, it was a 100% joke. So my man, Mr. To The P, calls me up and goes, you know, like, giraffes are really in danger, right? I'm like, like, you bullshitting. He like, bruh, like, no, check this out. So before you know it, we start reading articles and stuff. Like, we start really, like, like tapping into this and come to find out, like, giraffes are really going extinct. Like, like rapidly, and nobody is saying anything. And, you know, we got deep into it. We really got, like, very deep into it. And it became a thing where, you know, I called Hop, and I was like, yo, Hop, how would this world look at us if we actually, like, did this? You know what I mean? Like, people can say whatever, they, whatever the hell they want about us. But if we actually did this, like, for real, we'd be looked at as very good people by a large amount of people. You know what I mean? People right. care more about animal lives than human lives. Right. People are like, yo, that dude got beat by the cops. Who care? Save the dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? People care about animal lives more than human lives. So that was the what's, mission. What's been the response from, you know, like, the giraffe community that all of a sudden these two guys coming in from out of nowhere. Not necessarily like the from the giraffes, but like from the people who like run giraffe shelters. That's the thing, like, run, they, like they, it, it's out the blue for them. Like, they're like, these are two rappers. Like, rappers can give a flying 
about an animal. You know what I mean? Like it's, these are two rappers, not only two rappers, but two of the kind of weirdest looking ones. At that, one has a big face tattoo, other one has white eyes, and they're here feeding giraffes. Like it, it doesn't even register. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? But like they're just like it's it's shocking. It's shocking to the people of that committee. You know what I mean? It's it's shocking, but like it's different. You know what I mean? They're not used to it. You know what I mean? But it's something that we're really going to push forward and do and, and try to really make a difference in the world.